Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 5, JavaScript Class, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the class in JavaScript. So keep in mind, ECMAScript 5 does not have the class type and JavaScript will not support the complete object-oriented programming concept as other languages like Java or C Sharp. But keep in mind, we can create a function in such a way so that it will act like a class. So to understand this sentence very clearly, what I'll do is I'll jump into the next slide. Here I have a code snippet which will make you understand like how we can create a function okay, um, in such a way so that it will act like a class and here is a demo of that. Okay, I have, a, I have a employee function and this employee function includes first name and last name using this keyword. So these variables first name and last name will act like a properties. And also we know that we can create an object of a function using new keyword. So you can observe very carefully here, I have created two objects, okay, employee one and employee two of a function employee. So now this employee will act like a class and employee 1 and employee 2 will be its objects. So each object employee 1 and employee 2 will hold their values separately because all the variables are defined with this keyword which binds them to the particular object employee 1 and employee 2 when we create an object using new keyword. So this is how a function can be used like a class in JavaScript. So without wasting much time, let me show you a demo of this code snippet whatever present over here. So let me jump into Visual Studio Code and what I'll do is first I'll add a script tag and here I'll define a function. Okay, the function name is employee. Let me add this keyword dot first name and let me add this dot last name. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create an object of this employee or can I create with the help of new keyword so the object name will be employee1 is equal to new employee so this is how you can create an object of a function using new keyword now let me create another object it's employee1 your employee2 is equal to new employee so what I've done right now is I've created two objects of a function employee so now you can observe very clearly okay um, now this employee will act like a class and employee 1 and employee 2 will be its objects so let me jump into the code so what I'll do is using this object employee 1 dot first name I'll assign the value to this so it is Sam or uh, let me take the example present over here Sam itself okay similarly for the last name it is Sorin okay and now what I need to do is I need to call a alert function which will print the first name as well as the last name okay this is first name the value is okay then again I'll call this last name and the last name value is the variable is this so control s now what I'll do is I'll copy this same just to save the time I'm copying the entire thing and I'll paste it here to this I'm going to change just 
the number employee 2 and you are also employee 2 and this remains the same so uh, I want to change the values here it's Brendan Ek so Brendan Ek now what I've done is I've created two objects employee 1 and employee 2 okay and I've used the alert functions okay now when I do control s now I have to run this page so I'll go here and I'll double click on this so this uh, this pushes the page to the browser and we'll get the output as first name okay there is some error we are not getting the output okay let me go back and let me check okay uh, it's first name and it's last name it's fine okay okay I have to fetch like this it's employee dot first name and the same thing sorry for that when I do controllers I'll go back and refresh here you can see like I got first name as Sam and last name as Solon for employee 1 object this is for employee 2 object first name is Brendan and last name is Ek okay this is what uh, we learned like how to um, this is how like how a function can be used like a class in JavaScript okay and let me jump into next slide here uh, before that let me read out the sentence like we can add a function expression as a member variable in a function in JavaScript and this function expression will act like a method of a class so what I'll do right now is um, I'll go back to my presentation and here it is okay here you can observe I'm having a function employee and here I'm having the get full name variable or property and this is a function expression okay in the sense this function expression will act like a method of a class okay now what I'll do is um, instead of me alerting every time employee dot first name and last name I've defined a method okay which prints the get full name which prints the full name of our employee so how can I achieve that it's very simple let me go here now what I'll do is this dot get full name equal to I'll define a function what does this function is going to do this function is going to okay um, okay okay now let me remove this also control s let me go back and let me check what is return this dot first name and return this dot last name let me go and delete these things okay I don't need this okay I have to use a return function this dot first name and again let me copy this and let me paste this to save the time control C and control V this is last name okay the control S so you can observe very clearly this employee function is having three properties first name last name and get full name get full name is a function expression what is this function doing its function is returning the first name and last name so what I'll do with the help of this objects I'm invoking that function expression that is get full name method okay similarly I'll copy this and I'll attach here and this two to control us let me go back and refresh here we can get okay let me go and check what is the problem happening okay I have to pass this to uh, alert okay I'm not in my function I'm not anywhere called the alert function so I have to pass this entire thing 
to alert function which will bring the message on the pop-up window. Now I have to copy and paste again here. employee fun and this is employee 2 to control us let me go back and let me refresh here we're getting the first name and last name of object 1 as Sam and Solon and first name and last name of object 2 Brendan Eck so what we learn from this session is it's very simple uh, like we can create a function in such a way so that it will act like a class okay and we created uh, the properties and those properties will act like a <coughs> variables of a class okay and also we added a function expression and that function expression will be a method of a class this is what we learned in this session like how can we convert or how can we build a function in such a way that will act like a class and that's what we saw in this session and this is how we can achieve the class functionality in JavaScript with the help of function okay and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Ankpro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference of our websites we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you